Hi, my name is Brian O'Neill Hughes. I'm the head of outreach at Adobe, and today I'm thrilled to share with you a sneak peek of just some of what we're doing around mobile retouching. And the place I want to start is with accessing your images. Now, of course, you'd expect to be able to access your mobile images, but wouldn't it be great if you could get to high resolution files as well? This is a 50.3 megapixel image. This is one of the files off of the new EOS 5DS. Incredible resolution, and as you can see, a very fluid experience here. Now, not only can I preview it, but I can edit it as well. So if I scrub over the five here, it's just going to magically disappear from the image. If I select the source and drag that over to the number six, it's no problem dropping that in. If I want to see before and after, I can do that really easily. And if I commit that, it's done instantaneously to a 50 megapixel image. Okay, so let me show you just a little bit more of what I can do in here. Let's grab this file of the car and let's zoom in here and you see that we've got a liquify tool, much as we do in Photoshop on the desktop. I can warp this image. I could pucker or bloat, make it smaller or larger. I could twirl. I could actually completely reimagine this. And of course, I could reconstruct it as well. I could do all sorts of really fun stuff with the image. I can even do things with paint. So maybe I want to choose a yellow tone, my paintbrush, and switch that to color and I can completely change the color of one of these headlights. So I could use that for all sorts of different things, introducing color into a drab image as I have here, digital makeup, or adding a uh, iconic color or a thematic color to an image. Okay, let's do one more thing here. Let's add a vignette to this image. It's in a warehouse, it's sort of this gritty aesthetic. I wanna make it even darker. I'm gonna put the point wherever I want it, adjust the radius, the feather, and the shape, and I've got a great effect there. Again, everything I've done here is non-destructive, so I can always go backwards or forwards. That gives you an idea of just some of what we're doing. Nothing we're ready to release just yet, but I wanted to share an early preview. I hope you like it.